Hello. Firefly Home Energy Cleans here, Nicole. Walking around this beautiful spring day. I was just... Uh, look how beautiful it is, everything. I was just in Italy <clears throat> last week. And... Um, real quick, I had to go for family reasons. And I was uh, observing all the meadows, the gardens of the people, the you know private space of all the houses, beautiful houses, you know, like these ones, only clearly Italian styles. And I noticed that a lot, a lot of people don't have trees in their gardens, like zero trees. Most of them don't even have like, you know, these varieties of flowers which are great because it's good for the pollinators and you know without pollinators or bees we will not be able to to have life to have anything so it's very very important to do that and i was noting a lot of people don't have that why i was talking with my parents about it and also neighbors and you know family members and everybody kind of gave me the same answers that doesn't apply to them because all my neighbors family members my parents have a lot of trees in the gardens but they were saying you know friends co-workers everybody's complaining about the foliage the leaves like in uh, autumn that you know trees miss and like leave, leaves fell that you know then they have to rank them clean them and I'm thinking, really? That's the only reason why you don't put trees because of the leaves? <laughs> that seems like a little poor reason. And it's kind of weird because we need a lot of trees, especially in the cities, to give us shelter like from, the, from the sun, to cool down the buildings, cool down the cities when it's extremely hot. And, uh, and Basically, they, they, they work better than air conditioning, only, you know, without using the uh, energy that you would use with air conditioning. So I'm thinking, why people just don't plant more trees? Apparently, because they don't want to clean foliage in, in the fall. But my question is, leaves are biodegradable, like it's natural, like in the forest, in the woods. Nobody is going to go and rank the woods. And every, every cycle, every spring, summer, the, the woods, the forest, everything comes to life again, even without ranking the leaves. So is it so bad to just leave the leaves in the gardens to do their own natural cycle without much drama and without problems? Why we create these huge problems? Why as uh, people from the West societies, um, People that live in the West, anyway, they, they, we, we in these times, why we are so against nature? Why are we so uh, contrary to nature and the natural cycles of things? I don't understand. So um, with this video, I'm just like trying to make an ode to trees. Plant trees. If you are so lucky, so blessed with a garden, plant trees or at least do try to have a biodiverse garden which I put in my last post and it talks about garden biodiversity it's from this student in, in the university everything is written there and I think it's gen genius I think it's a great uh, info it's very important to know and I think it's just uh, just also common sense logic wouldn't it be nice to have a garden which is mixed with flowers and uh, different flowers and different trees and then you have shades for you for the birds uh, in summer cooling down your property in your home it's just uh, it's just the way it is in nature so here for example in new york in my neighborhood lots of places have concrete everywhere like they put the whole space they have as a little garden they put concrete on just because they don't want to be bothered to walk clean it is so weird for me, I don't understand. It's, it's, it really is not in my realm of existence, it's not my logic. We need, especially in big cities like New York City, but everywhere, we need uh, trees, we need greens, we need grass, we need that, because we need nature. Without nature, we cannot function as humanity, as a society.
people nice, they let me pass. <laughs> people are nice. So, to wrap it up, if you are so blessed to have a space that can be a little garden, why wasting it like washing it with concrete? Why don't plant few trees? They are such, such easy plants, like this one. They basically need nothing. And, mm, and this smells amazing. Oh, this smells good. You can have jasmine, jasmine flower. My mom is jasmine flower. Every summer, the whole house, the whole garden area smells like jasmine. It's such a heavenly perfume. It, it makes you, it gives you good mood, like it, it puts you in a good mood. You arrive there and you're instantly in a better mood. That's what flowers do to me. They, make, they give me joy, they make me smile. A good tree gives me joy. And a part of that, you have the most important uh, basic uh, roll, then give you shade. They give us better air, quality of air. They cool the place down, they cool the cities down. So please, if you're one of those people that know someone that has no trees, has no grass, has no flower, and so on, try to pass this information along. Try to just make it say, hey, do you, have you ever thought about a biodiverse garden, which is really good for the bees, attracts, um, it attracts uh, birds. And what's better than waking up with birds singing? So I hope as always to have give some food for thought. Everybody have a great day. Happy spring. I love spring because summer is coming and I'm a summer person. Big kiss for everybody. Bye bye.